Hey guys, Wes here. So today, first, I'm going to start with apologizing for my absence. Um, I feel like I end up saying this really often, but um, nothing interesting is really happening with my tanks. And um, I don't feel like you guys want to see just a random video of me rambling on about nothing just so I can have a video every week. So um, both tanks have been doing fine, and I just recently added something to this tank. So um, I'm going to do a little update on the beta tank. So first I'm just going to start with the fish. The beta fish is doing fine. Um, he's been acting the same, he's been eating, he's just... I feel like he's just really content with, um, with this um, setup and his tank mates. Um, next, I'm, I'm going to move to the snail right there. Um, I have two snails in here. They never seem to be in short supply of food. I always have um, small amounts of algae on the glass, which you can't, you can't see from a normal distance, but if you look up close you can see the um, really thin green algae and you can see the little uh, scrape marks of the nerite snail. Next I'm going to um, talk about the Cory right there, he just dipped down behind the Maramo ball. Um, I still have the two Habrosis Cory's and the one Pygmy Cory, uh, he's right down there in front. He was moving around there for a second. There's a lot of little things for them to swim underneath. So um, they've been doing fine. They have been um, finding food. I haven't been giving them very many um, bottom feeder pellets, but enough food must be falling um, when I feed the beta fish to support them. Uh, next, I'm just going to move on to the plants in general. Um, everything um, has been sort of in a slow like really slow decline kind of. Um, there is that uh, blue green algae came back on the moss. Let me see if I can get in there. You can see it's really kind of dark and slimy looking um, where it's connected to the driftwood. So that came back unfortunately. Um, this java fern down here has some black algae on it. Oh, there's a habrosis cori. Um, there's another one down there, there's both of them. Um, but yeah, the java fern right there has a little bit of black algae. And um, the um, Anubius nana petite has a little bit of green spot algae on it. Um, and the marimo balls also have some of that blue-green algae. So it hasn't really exploded into, into a huge problem or anything, um, thankfully, because I know blue-green algae can be a a big hassle, um, but luckily it hasn't been too severe. Um, the last and the new thing that I'm going to talk about is you might notice the taller plants in the left and right um, back corners. So I, I actually went to my LFS today to grab a um, Nerite snail for the 29 gallon um, and I decided to get um, a taller plant for this tank because the plants that I have right now aren't doing super well um, but they're doing okay but I wanted to add something um, new just kind of spice it up a little bit because this tank hasn't seen any additions in a long time so I got um, Cryptsporalis I got one pot of Cryptsporalis and it split into two plants so I put the largest one right there I'm hoping um, if it gets taller and kind of curves along the surface it'll kind of fill in that um, that spot above the driftwood and then I got one in that other corner which I'm hoping um, will grow taller and then the air stone will push that kind of out and up from that corner and maybe along the surface as well because um, I know Cryptsporalis from my past experience with it in the 20 gallon I know that um, it will grow very tall if it has low light and since this um, Finex LED um, is quite high above the tank. I would say it's at least four and a, four and a half to five inches above the tank. Um, I wouldn't think it'd be too intense um, since the light is also directed kind of down the center of the tank and not the sides. So I'm hoping that'll look nice. Um, so yeah, that's all that's new with the beta tank. Um, the only thing with the 29 gallon that's changed is the new narrate snail I added. Um, I'm probably not going to make a 29 gallon update because it would really be a very short and boring video. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, like I said, I might be doing giveaways in the future. 
um, definitely hit the like button. I love seeing that. If, if you have any comments, um, any questions or anything, um, leave that in the comment section below. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.